now, cause I'm six feet. That's what I learned on my music degree. How about you, Dan? I didn't do one, and uh, glad I didn't. Well, well the back of that, this is gonna be an interesting conversation then. Uh, try to avoid saying what I was gonna say about that bit of singing then, but moving on. What are you saying? Nothing. Not didn't enough. sound like anyone I can think of in particular. No, of course not. Um, I didn't do a music degree either, for full disclosure. I did my degree in music business. We just made a video talking about whether or not they should, someone should do a degree in music business. I did, however, do a high diploma, a one-year course in drumming at the Academy of Contemporary Music, and it was very good. And I know a lot of people that have done music degrees, Beer did a performance degree. So, yeah, so, sorry, what's this question and who's it from? I'm sorry, we have not started this in the correct way. This Hi. question is from Ollie Tandon. Question down here so you can read it. <clears throat> what's your advice uh, coming out of finishing a music degree? He's starting one next September, so he wants to know what he can expect. Um, but particularly coming out of a music degree. Okay, so I guess the first thing you can expect when you come out of a music degree is that nobody's going to give you a job because you've got that degree. Yeah, That's, that might sound negative and, and doom and gloom. The cat is back. Ruby's here for, for a chat. Cool. Yeah, she's got some very valid opinions on music degrees. Yeah. Quite the singer is Ruby, <laughs> particularly when she wants her breakfast. <coughs> People assume that you go and get a degree and then you have a job. But People are often sold that dream, to be yeah. honest. And unfortunately, this is not the case. It's Most of the, the time, you might get lucky. But don't expect it. But even though they get lucky, actually, are really good, and they're good at networking, and they're good at when the opportunity comes, they don't go, eh, eh, eh. they just go, yeah, let's do it, I'm in, you know? So it's not the degree that does that. Now, that's, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sort of criticising the institutions that give music degrees. It's awesome that music education's out there. But this particular conversation is about, are the expectations of what you'll get from a degree realistic and what how can you approach a music degree in a way that means that you will get the benefit and come out in the right mindset. Totally. So what are your, what are your thoughts? If someone like someone's coming out of a degree, you know, they're going right, I wanna I wanna be a I wanna earn my bills from playing music. Yeah. And that's a, that is a well, I think answer. the advantage is Ollie has asked this question going into a degree in September. So network. Meet as many people as you can and be nice to them. Yeah. And tell them what you're interested in. Tell them what you're passionate about. You know, are you passionate about being a teacher or writing a particular style of music or you know, writing for TV shows or films or theatre productions? Or YouTube. Or YouTube. Are you interested in making YouTube videos? <coughs> do you want to review gear? You know, figure out what it is that you want to do and network with people and tell them about that so that if the day ever comes when they go, oh, I wish I knew someone who could write for TV shows, they'll go, oh yeah, I remember this guy from the degree, and yeah. they'll give you a call. Yeah. Because you're a nice guy and you worked hard. Yeah. So that's a really important thing to do while you're on a degree. Can I jump in with a tip about networking? Yeah. Just uh, some thoughts on networking. It's quite scary for a lot of people. I wouldn't say that I'm a particularly natural networker. I don't, I don't go, oh, good, a room of people I don't know, can't wait. You know, I'm quite a chatty guy, but I still find that quite difficult. So don't beat yourself up if you're, if you're thinking, how am I going to network? The trick is to try and to try and go as prepared as you can to a situation. Now, if you just go into a random networking event, which you know, is a bit of a weird one, then you can't really be prepared. But if you, know, you will have talks at that degree and you'll have opportunities to go to events where a particular speaker is giving their thoughts and advice. And that is a great opportunity because... You got you can learn, but go and talk to them. I would always if I was if I was interested in the person that had spoken, I'd always go and say say hi. And the 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 trick is to do your research properly. It's kind of a waste. It is a waste of time going up and talking to someone that is of profile or is able you know is in, is built of a business or is sort of doing cool stuff and going. I don't know anything about you, but you know that was cool because they'll go. Oh, thanks, nice one. If you go up and go, hey. That was really interesting. Uh, you didn't quite touch on what you did in 2001 when you built this or you released that. That's, that's really cool. I'm really interested in that. Like, I'm actually doing this. Um, I know you've given a lot of your time today, but is there any chance I could come and see you in London? We can just get a coffee, five minutes, and I'll ask you some questions. They're so much more likely to go, well, yeah, because that's an anomaly. Yeah. Most people are just so passive in their career. So networking is just two people meeting and finding a mutual interest. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just that would be my, my thoughts on that. Yeah, and 
Okay, so coming out and finishing a music degree, what can you expect? Well, you expect to have to rely on being creative with your skills. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're studying music and you're a guitarist, then don't don't fall into the trap of thinking you're going to get work as a session musician or something like that because that doesn't really happen a lot. So really try to think about how you can sell your skills and how you can make money doing the things that you care about. Because you know you don't you don't want to necessarily end up working in a job that you don't like. So try to develop as many skills around your passions as possible. Mm. Uh, you know, if you like photography, then maybe do some photography as well, and it all it all ends up leading into each other. You know, you can be a great photographer and still work in the music business because there are people who need photographs of their bands. There are people who want album artwork. Yeah, the, all of these things one way or another, can find a way of mutually benefiting each other. Yeah. Aim to put as many fingers you have in as many pies as possible. Proverbially. Yeah. Otherwise, you, otherwise you'll ruin people's baking. <laughs> and it's a very bad idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Greg's get very annoyed. <laughs> yeah, so coming out of a music degree, uh, our points are network. Because if you don't have a network when you leave the music industry, uh, leave the music degree, you might as well not have gone. Really. Yeah. And they work during the degree as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. But if you're just coming out of one, then... This is like, this is, I'm talking during. Yeah. You're like, your music degree is, yes, a time to get better at your instrument. And that you that is your main focus. Because if you're not great, and I mean, you're only really going to stand out if you're great. You've got to be really, really good. You've got to work hard at that. Um, but, you know, if you're, not, you, you're there to put yourself in the best possible position when you finish. That's the goal. And that isn't just playing music, that's meeting people, networking, like we said, um, start building your profile, when you have, you have so much time when you're doing a degree, relative to when you are working, like, you've got no excuse not to be smashing it on YouTube, particularly nowadays, you know, and making videos, building a profile, getting out there, meeting people, just acting as if you are already living the life you want to be living, because if you've got a degree, you've got, probably got a student loan, so... You know, you can live like that without necessarily having to earn the money off it, and by doing that, you'll become that. So don't just sit around and, you know, just get pissed with everyone and sort of think that you've made it because you got into the whatever college. It doesn't work like no, that. Even if you got into Berkeley, like, yes, yeah. so did lots of other people, and it's the ones who work hard who are going to make something of themselves. So I hope that helps, Ollie. Some practical but positive advice, you know, like... <clears throat> If you know that and you go in with that approach, then you'll be at a massive advantage. Yeah. So that is a good, you know, it sounds negative, but it's not. Absolutely. Just Work hard, be nice, yeah. meet people, keep, do your best. Keep your head screwed on and, uh, and learn about your industry, not just your instrument. Good luck, man. All right. Keep them coming. See you soon. Bye.